Hey, it's Chrissy Mack and I'm back with another video and clearly I'm very comfortable because when you're going to dialysis, you wanna make sure you're as comfortable as possible only because the temperature changes constantly. One moment, it can be a little warm, but most of the time, dialysis is cold, freezing cold. So I definitely always go in a long sleeve shirt and some long pants. Due to the fact that I recently got a kidney transplant and I was going to dialysis three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for about four hours at a time. And the two questions that I get all the time is, Chrissy, what do you wear to dialysis and what's in your bag? So if you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. And if you've done that, welcome to the family. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Well, the answer to both of those are pretty simple. I always wear long sleeve, I'm always covered up and warm. Or if I forget to wear long sleeve, I always make sure that I bring a sweater with me. And number two is this video. I'm making this video for you folks that are new to dialysis and just not too sure and have questions about what you should bring to dialysis. Everyone wants to know what's in my bag. What do I bring to dialysis with me? Well, first thing first is my bag. So I got this bag from Davida. Davida actually gave me a great duffel bag. I would suggest getting a duffel bag. Um, I, a lot of you guys know, I have been with Davida and Ficinius. Now I have to say, Davida's gift was a lot better than Ficinius. Ficinius' bag was a cheap bag and it really didn't hold all my items. So you wanna make sure that you get a bag that can hold everything that you personally need. So, Yes, I got a duffel bag, but I would also suggest that maybe you get a bag with a handle and maybe some wheels, just because after dialysis, you may be too weak to hold your bag. So let's go ahead and get started with the bag. So I love this bag because not only does it have multiple compartments, so you have your front compartment, this is where I keep my wallet, so that's where my wallet is. Then also you have compartments on the sides. So you can go ahead and put napkins, you can put you know any little thing that you want to. So they give you compartments on the sides. In the back, it gives you a spot where you can put you know like an identification. So in case you happen to forget your bag, they know who to call and let them come and pick it up. So always leave like an identification card with your name and your telephone number just in case you happen to forget your bag at dialysis, they know who it belongs to. So let's go ahead and get started what's inside of the bag. All right, so first thing first is, these are my essentials for hemodialysis when I used to go to the center. And the first thing that I always like to bring with me, I never leave home without it, is my blanket. I like to have a nice thick blanket just because it's so cold, even though I have on sweats or I have on long sleeve, I like to just cover up and just feel cozy. On top of my bag, I always put my medications. Just because with my medication, my high blood pressure, I do not take in the mornings at that session. Just because it can drop your blood pressure too low, so my nurses at dialysis recommended me to bring my medication so in case during my treatment it gets high, I can go ahead and take it. But before was a no-no for me because it got too low. You guys saw in a previous video, I told you guys that you know I went unconscious, I was foaming out of the mouth because my blood pressure went so low and they had to revive me back. So we don't want any more episodes of that. So I continue to bring my medication every treatment and I'll take it at my dialysis center. The most important item to have is food. I love having my snacks. So for me, I like to bring apples, grapes, you know, anything that I can munch on just because that dialysis is really hard on the body and I always get so hungry. So I always make sure that I bring my drinks and my apples, I have my water, and whatever else that I need to survive at dialysis for the next four hours. Hey guys, so you know my wife is serious about her fruits. So what I'm about to do right now is, because she have to have certain things when she goes to dialysis, and dialysis she have to get her fruits. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up her fruits for her. Um, let's see what we get her. So I gotta make sure I get her some apples. So. 
So it's right here, got her some apples. And then I gotta make sure I get her her protein drink and also some grapes. So right here. She likes the green ones, so I normally get her some green ones, green grapes, um, seedless, don't ever bring her grapes with seed in them. And then I gotta get her a protein drink, so that's come a couple of the stuff that she always gets when she goes to dialysis. Um, so this is the one that she normally gets right here. So this one right here is what she normally gets. And it's dairy free. She don't do too good with dairy, and she we try to cut out dairy from early because of the lupus. Next thing is a hat. So I like to bring a hat with me just because, like I said, it's always cold. But having a hat, something to put on my head, because at the time when I was in dialysis, my hair was very short. So with a short hair, it's a lot colder. So I always brought a hat with me. That was one item. The next item that I always brought with me was my gloves. So when I'm at dialysis, not only am I cold, but and the blood is running through the system, leaving your body, going through the machines for some odd reason. The hand that I use where my fistula is, I always had to put on gloves because it was ice cold. So I would put on my gloves, I'll sit in my chair, they'll put the needles in, and it will, you know, just help with the comfort because without these gloves, I was miserable, guys, miserable. The next item that I like to bring is a hand sanitizer. So before I eat my food or I touch anything, I always have my hand sanitizer with me just to keep cautious with all the germs. Dialysis is probably not the cleanest place to be, even though that they do take care, they clean down, they wipe down, but I always like to have a second protection. So in my dialysis video where I talk about the side effects, I explained to you guys that I always had itchy, dry skin. And that has something to do with dialysis. I don't know why, but I was always itching. So I always bring a bottle of cream with me. I love this pause cream. And you guys know I love using coconut oil as well too. But with this cream, you know, if I'm itching, I just take a little bit, I rub it on my skin, and I put it right back in my bag. At least I can handle the situation because it's all in my bag. So how can I forget? The next item is my lidocaine. When it comes to dialysis, I need to numb that area. The fistula, when they're putting in the needles, because every week in the beginning, they'll start with the smallest needle. That's great. But over time, those needles get bigger and it's very painful, at least for me, it was painful. Tell me your experience. If you have gotten stuck already, did it hurt you? But for me, it did. So I end up buying this spray to spray the arm to numb it. Well, this really didn't work that much. It helped take the edge off, but it didn't do it all. So not only did I spray it, but I also used the cream. And the cream, which is the 5%, which is a prescription, helped a lot more. So I would just rub it on that area and numb the area. But I never left my house without this. Actually, I don't leave my house without any of these items. This bag it stays in my car all the time. So these are very vital to my success for dialysis. Next item that I always walk with is my binders. So when I'm eating food, I have my binders. Like I explained in my previous video, I do not need to have binders all the time. It's not necessary for my situation. After some time, my doctor just happened to take me off of it. Um, we noticed that my numbers were controlled. I was eating great and everything was steady, but I always walk with it just in case. Dialysis can be really boring as well. So yes, you have TV. So I always bring a pair of headphones with me so I can plug into the chair. Everybody has their own TV at dialysis. So I plug it into the chair and I just listen to my music or I talk on my phone with a pair of headphones. And you also wanna find a good headphones because you wanna be able to cancel out the noise. You're always hearing the beep, beep, beep at dialysis and that can be very annoying. So I always put my headset in, you know, and listen to my music or watch my TV and just zone out. And if I don't wanna to listen to TV, I like to write. So I have this gratitude journal. So I always sit down, once I start my session, I write what I'm grateful for that day. You know, I just thank, give thanks for waking up, give thanks for my family, and this is my gratitude journal. So it just gives me something to complete when I'm at dialysis. And if I don't feel like writing, I would just read a book. 
I love reading business books. That's my favorite. So I would just pick up a book from my local library or somebody got me a book. I would just, you know, read for a couple of hours. So knowledge is power. One of the most important items to have as well is my tablet. I have my iPad with me at all times because at that time I'm able to FaceTime my mom. I'm able to write down my notes in here because you know when the doctor comes around you always want to make sure that you have your list of questions. So I keep my list of questions either in my tablet or in my notebook because you get foggy brain and I don't want to forget anything. So I either have my notebook or my tablet so I can have some kind of communication or I can play Candy Crush or Solitaire, something to do to make the time go by. Because I'm such a technology junkie, I like to have my glasses. These are my blue light blockers, just so it, you know, stops the rays. So from watching the TV screen, oh, let me put these on right. From watching the TV screen, you know, I don't have too much glare coming from that. Next item is socks. I always have a pair of socks. So if I happen to go to dialysis and sandals in the summertime, I would just throw on my socks. You guys know I have my blanket, but I have my socks as well. This is my essential kit. I put it in a little Ziploc bag. So even though you're at dialysis and they bandage you up and you're done, sometimes going home, things, accidents can happen. So I like to always have my mask. I have extra bandage. I have some gauze. Just in case I bleed out, something happens, I can protect myself and some gloves so I can keep the germs away. But I keep all of this in my essential bag. Tyrenol, I bring this just in case I have any pains, any headaches. I have my Tyrenol with me. These are some wipes. In case I make some mess, my face looks a mess, you know, whatever it may be, I always bring some wipes with me. So at times dialysis made me very nauseous. So I like to bring my candy. So these are ginger candy. I have a few of these in my bag just in case, you know, that taste, I feel nauseous and I want to vomit. I'll pop one of these and feel just a little bit better. I also have a pen so I can write any notes I need to write with my pen. And I have some eye drops. For some reason, I always had dry eyes, so I always made sure I had some eye drops just in case I needed it at the center. And last but not least is my phone and my charger. I go nowhere, it doesn't matter if it's dialysis or not, I go nowhere without this phone and without this charger. So with the charger, I had to buy a long, extension cord. So this is my long charger. I don't go nowhere without it. I plug it in and if I happen to have, sometimes I used to even have an extension cord. That's how serious this was guys. But these are all my items that I take to dialysis on an everyday basis. Because like I said, this is your second home and you wanna make sure that you're equipped, you are comfortable, you have everything that you need right there. So this is all the stuff that I use for dialysis. Let me know what you guys have in your bag. Leave a comment and let me know so everybody else that is new to dialysis will know what to pack. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I just wanna let you know I love and appreciate you guys. See you on the next video.